February had an above average rainfall total and now with the warmer temperatures kicking in the pollen is out in full force. From at home remedies to recognizing symptoms here's one expert's advice for allergy season. I like the warm weather but I don't like the other aspect of it. Pretty soon that yellow powder will start to coat cars and sidewalks and right on cue. Sneezing, coughing, itchy throat. A little thing that loves to make you feel miserable and that's allergies. Is it going to be bad this year? Is it going to be is be one of those years where I have to take Claritin every day? Your body's actually doing the right thing just against the wrong problem. Dr. Mark Sirota, a board certified allergist, says sometimes our bodies kind of overreact. Your body's allergic cells are not there in your body to make you miserable with allergies or asthma. They're actually there to fight parasites. So your body is inappropriately responding to something that it mistakenly thinks is a parasite. He says a big question from patients right now is how to differentiate between allergy and COVID-19 symptoms. Allergies really shouldn't cause fever. There's a misconception there uh, because the, the term for it is hay fever, um, that allergies can cause fever. But fever is usually your body's response to an infection. So if you're having fever, that should point you in the direction of an upper respiratory virus. When it comes to treatment, it seems everyone has a cure they swear by. Local honey, sea moss regularly. Medication. A lot of vitamin C. But before you go out buying products, consider this. So you want to first get tested so you know what you're allergic to. In terms of treatment, again, I, I rely on the science, so I would look at things that are FDA approved for treatment. And it always seems like when the allergies hit and you've got the headache and, man, I know you've been sneezing all day today, you're just like, I'm buying it all. <laughs>